Hi, this is Kim Murphy with Designs 23 website design, making a demonstration video uh, for the shopping cart. This video will show you how easy it is to add products into the shopping cart yourself without ever contacting a web designer for assistance. It's very easy, it's very simple. So here is the website that we are looking at. Um, it's a beautiful website, nice design. And the first thing to notice is that there are five main categories on the left here. Apparels, shoes, handbags, jewelry, and accessories. And underneath each of these five main categories, you have several of these subcategories. So this is a category. These are subcategories. So when you log in to your back-end administrative panel, um, I will give you a username and password for your website. You press the login button. And um, and uh, notice what you see is the same five major categories. The, fav the same five categories here correspond to one, two, three, four, five. This is a main category. These are the subcategories. Now, if you click on one of these yellow folder icons here, we should get the subcategories that appear under the apparel section. So let's go back here. We were under apparels. We clicked on that and we got these subcategories here. So these subcategories correspond to these subcategories. So suppose, for example, you wanted to add a new coat inside your shopping cart. Well, first, you double click on the yellow coats icon and you click on new product. And when you click on new product, uh, the website's going to ask us to input some basic information about our new product. And uh, some of these fields are not required because a lot of my customers don't use all of this information here. A lot of it's optional. For example, date available. Well, some customers simply put all the products in as they become available. So you can skip this. Manufacture, unless you have specific manufacturers uh, or products organized by manufacturer on your website, you can skip this section here. If your website's going to have manufacturers, we will input them for you, so you can select an item here. Now, the product's name. The product's name is basically the title of the product, and for this example, we'll call it uh, Kim's Test Coat Product. Tax class. We're going to assume that this is a taxable coat, I have no idea whether coats are taxable or not, but for the purpose of this exercise, they are. Of course, your state might not be this state, but for your state, we'll set up your shopping cart. The product's price net, that's the price without the tax, we will say this coat's going to be $10, and it automatically inputs the tax there for us. The product description field, we need to type a little bit of information about our product. Uh, we'll say this is um, descriptive text. So I have filled in some text here for you quickly, and now we have to upload a product picture. Okay, to upload a product picture, simply click on the Browse button, which means browse on your hard drive. Find a picture of uh, you know the product that you want, and uh, in this case, we're going to find a couple coat pictures to put for this product. And uh, here we go. And uh, that's it. We are done. All we have to do is hit preview and uh, hit the insert button here. And notice that Kim's test coat product is inside the admin panel here. And when you go back to the website and you click on coats, here is our brand new coat. Notice we have, if we'll scroll down here in a second, Kim's test coat product for $10. And when you click on details, the detail screen shows all that text that I just put in. So I just said this right now for you. I made this video to show you that in five minutes, it was easy to add a new product into your shopping cart. So I look forward to working with you. Um, it becomes very easy. And most of the other features on this website are very easy to use, even for a person who has never used a computer. So thank you for watching, and uh, you have a great day.